Welcome to the Matt O'Grady Coaching Podcast. This is where Matt shares all his ideas on how to be happier, more successful, and enjoy life to the fullest. Please go to mattogradycoaching.com and the livinggratitudebook.com to learn more and receive your free micro coaching session with Matt. Hello and welcome to the Matt O'Grady Coaching Podcast. Matt O'Grady Coaching. Dot com. Just released my second book a few weeks ago, Breathe on Meditation. If you would, if you enjoy this podcast, I would really appreciate it if you would go over to Amazon and purchase that book. And uh, if you enjoy it, please leave me an Amazon review. It's been quite a journey. Thank you to all of you who have already purchased it, read it, and given me some really amazing feedback. Thank you so much. Um, And very apropos, today we are going to talk about gratitude, which is what I wrote my first book on, and which I have to say... Out of everything that I've ever done, spiritually, self-development-wise, the pure moment of experiencing gratitude deeply for the first time, without even trying that hard, and just watching how my whole life from that moment forward was different. Now, it didn't all of a sudden become perfect, um, but it has been forever changed. And I can remember some years later, while I was on a spiritual retreat, my teacher at the time telling us about his take on gratitude, someone I deeply respect and love very deeply, so grateful to him for all that he taught me for so many years, Frank Crescido out of New Paltz, New York. If you haven't checked him out, he's got a lot of books. He's a great teacher. He's been doing it for, oh God, 40-something years. Um... And he said a really great quote by Meister Eckhart. And the quote is super short. And it says simply, If the only prayer you ever say is thank you, it's all you would ever need to have for a prayer. Now, I'm paraphrasing that because I think it's translated from German, if I remember correctly. But when I heard that, my life changed again. Because I was able to see in that moment how simple it can be. This is a deeply powerful, experienced, mystic teacher saying that quote. And if you just take it for what it's worth and really consider the potential truth of that statement, it tells you how powerful deep gratitude practice is. Sometimes when I need to clear the decks, but I'm not in a position where I can sit down, close my eyes and meditate or go to the beach and do something to lift my spirits or, you know, hang out with people you love, family, friends, whatever, and get like lifted up from that experience. You know, sometimes you're just in life with without being able to choose physically 
where you are, right? Because a lot of us work a lot of hours, a lot of us run a lot of errands, a lot of us do a lot of admin for our lives and businesses and work lives, householding, all the details that we have to manage, contracts and insurance and landscapers and just, you know, whatever it is that we focus on, right? Everybody has the long list of life that they deal with. So we're busy. But you can have a deep, profound experience of gratitude in moments. It's so completely accessible all day long. All you need is a willingness to focus on it. But it really does need deep focus because the higher level of experience of gratefulness is never accessible by just putting a check mark next to it or looking at it like it's a laundry list or skipping over the depth that's available even if it's one person or one situation or one simple thing that you're grateful for. It's not the gesture or the or the reason why you're you're grateful. I mean you can you can access deep gratitude just by looking at the sun and being grateful for the warmth. I mean it doesn't have to be this deeply intellectual thing or this deeply mystical idea the mystical process is in the simplicity of it not in the complication of something it's an interesting conundrum right it's like a almost like a zen koan right well how could spiritual experience be so easy well it's like the thing that's right in front of us that we can't see <laughs> you know when you're looking for something and you you know you just put it there recently and it might have gotten moved around but you know it was in this general area you remember seeing it yesterday and you know and then you walk away, you go do something else, you come back, and it's right there. It's right where you thought it was. <laughs> and you're like, wait a second. It's not even possible. Somebody playing a joke on me. That's where awareness and presence is. It's, it's so easily ex accessible that if we practice it, just all on its own, practicing self-awareness is tremendously freeing. Once again, it doesn't have to be complicated. It can just be simple and true and real, just like gratitude. We all know that it feels good to appreciate people, ourselves, life, breath, abundance, safety, mm -hmm. Comfort, kindness, compassion, love. I mean, there's human connection. There's there's so much to be grateful for, right? Family, friends. I mean, most of us have an abundance of pretty good things in our lives. If we're willing to stop long enough to really appreciate it and when you do it just simplifies your life regardless of the circumstances see that's the amazing thing we don't have to change the outside to have an inner experience so by practicing gratitude for anything just a simple thing like it's not a big deal, right? I breathe all day long, but, you know, it does keep me alive. And, wow, what would it be like if I became aware of it? 
really felt it, really was with that breath, and then I was also grateful for that breath as well, not just aware of it, but appreciating it. And that simple shift of that idea and that practice can change our whole day. And it changes my moments every day because just about every day of my life, there's some stressor. (laughs) Do you know what I mean? There's something that kind of hits us and it says, this is a big deal. You know, maybe we have a sick family member or we're not feeling well ourselves or somebody we know got sick or we heard a story or, you know, some some sad story. Maybe we heard it on the news. Maybe a friend told us a story. Maybe we read about it in a book or online or whatever, right? And, and you have a feeling. Or maybe you're just dealing with real life shit and you're stressed, right? Doesn't it happen almost every day? There's a little something. Could be somebody just cutting you off on the highway, you know, because you you realize that <laughs> a few inches to the left and you're in a major accident, but it didn't happen. So there's so many things to be grateful for. And there's so many stressors in our lives. I mean, just how quickly life changes, right? You know, it happens to all of us. We all get hit with that that change we didn't expect, and it's hard to deal with. Yet, despite the potentially tragic circumstances that some of us experience, you can still choose to be grateful. I mean, I've lost so many people that I love so much to physical death or just Also, like, you know, they moved away and we don't talk anymore and I haven't talked to them in 20 years or whatever. Doesn't mean that you don't have this connection, right? Just because they're away and just because they pass away. I mean, the connection is still there. Still possible. We may miss them deeply, of course. But it does not have to take away what that person meant to you. You can still be grateful to them. You can still love them. You can still talk to them. I don't know. Maybe you can even listen to them. I don't know. But you can definitely talk to them because I talk to my friends, my family who have passed on, who I I miss and I love, and my love is still alive for them today. Very deeply. It's still, there's still a relationship there, even though they're not physically here. Talk about a practice of gratitude in, in grief and in loss to shift our pain to love and appreciation. Uh, it's, I mean, you tell me, am I wrong? Is are are the uh, the experiences of stress and pain and worry better or does feeling appreciation feel better it's a pretty simple answer i mean we all know the truth it feels better to feel better <laughs> than being stressed and worried does not feel good so it's really important to find, I mean, gratitude is one of my jams. I just think it's the best. But it doesn't matter what you use. There's some way of changing your state for the better. There always has been, there always will be, but we have to be willing to look for that, practice it, explore it, research it, break out of our shell to, you know, put a little more time into something as simple as a self-awareness practice. I'll tell you, it's a 
It's the best movie you'll ever see. It's your own life. Gratitude. Such an easy, simple way to change our state, feel better, change our lives every damn day. <laughs> it's like it's like a job sometimes, you know? It feels like, no, I want to be stressed. And then I remind myself, oh, right, that feels terrible. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> And you practice the awareness. Be with those feelings of stress. I mean, by all means. We're going to experience them, right? Because when life changes quickly, stress is immediately created. And things that are hard or painful or stressful. You know, classic one is, is a job, but it could be a relationship, could be a health issue, could be anything. But if you experience that stress every day over a long period of time, even though it doesn't seem so painful, what happens at the end of 10, 20 years, right? We've all been in those situations, right? Small things that go unchecked for a long period of time can still become big things, right? It's the law of compounding. Anything you do every day for a long period of time is going to have a consequence. It's as simple as cause and effect. So, when you start to become, I don't know, a, a cause for self-awareness and a gratitude practice, as simple as that, nothing, nothing more, and certainly nothing less, because that's more than enough to change a life in a moment. And it's fun. I mean, why not do it? <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's my that's my share for the evening. Thank you all so much for listening and communicating and commenting and reaching out to me and telling me what you think of the podcast and the book, etc. It means the world to me. So thank you for reaching out, and I hope to talk to you again soon. I'm going to leave you with a quote. I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thought and that gratitude is happiness doubled by wonder. G. K. Chesterton. That is a great quote on gratitude. That's one you can ruminate over, you can pray over, meditate over, contemplate that quote if you really read between the words is giving it all to you right there it's fun it's a great quote <laughs> makes me want to know a lot more about him and what he was thinking good night metagritycoaching.com <laughs>